Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Show and View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns WWE pay-per-views moving forward in the new year 2015. Uh, according to SC Scoops, with WWE announcing that their payback pay-per-view will be taking place on May 17th in Baltimore, Maryland, that means that the WWE is looking to widen the gap between the B-level shows that come after WrestleMania, as there will be seven weeks separating the two. Well, here's the thing. I am all in favor of this. This is definitely positive. But they should not only just do this one time, they should do this multiple times throughout the year because it is under, it is in my view, in my opinion, all right, that you have to give people a reason to want to tune in to watch the WWE pay-per-views. Uh, instead of it just feeling like an extended version of, of Raw, a Raw broadcast that you would have to pay for. I mean, you know, pay-per-views used to have their own identity, okay? They used to stick out. There was reasons behind why you wanted to watch them. But now the feeling, the strategy, it's a little off, okay? The WWE not really um, gearing towards the model that they once used for, for pay-per-views. Things move too fast. They go from one thing to the next. Storylines and angles don't have time to, to uh, breathe. Um, doesn't give you time to really get interested and, and invested in what's going on. And although this probably won't happen, in my view, uh, what the WWE really should do is they should cut out half of their pay-per-views and probably build the storylines and matches for the major WWE pay-per-views that are on the WWE Network for the year, like Royal Rumble, uh, WrestleMania, uh, SummerSlam, uh, Money in the Bank. You know, the big-time events that people actually tune into. Um, now that all the WWE pay-per-views are under the company's umbrella, they don't have to worry about lost pay-per-view buys as much, although there are still some carriers that carry the pay-per-views, but not nearly as much as they are accustomed to. Um, now, remember there was rumors of the WWE updating their pay-per-view model. This would be a good idea to do for next year and beyond. Like I said, the WWE should adopt this strategy. I'm all in favor of this. I, I applaud the WWE for doing this, but this is only for one time. Those B-level shows, you know, if you want to build more importance and you know, the building blocks and the fundamentals behind it, you have to let the stories, um, you know, progress. You have to let people in of what's going on. You, you got to make them understand, okay? You can't just from, jump from one thing to the next. I mean, I know everything's evolving. I know it's a new day. I know it's a new era. But if the WWE would just drop a few of those pay-per-views, maybe there would just be a lot more prestige behind it again. Subscribe.